Welcome back to Decked Out. On today's episode, we are joined by Maldhound and Z. And thanks to our patron, Rob the Princess, we are going to be doing a very special partners episode. As always, thank you to our sponsors, Tales of Adventure, Moxfield, and Ultimate Guard, but more on them later in the video. Let's go ahead and meet the players. Hi, everybody. My name's Maldhound. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, touching cards, attempting to touch hearts, and most importantly, telling you if I'd touch your commander's parts. I'm here today to prove to all of you that you can both be a gigantic Naruto fanboy and have a girlfriend by playing Ukima, Stalking Shadow. He's partner with Kazur, but he will not be making an appearance today as I instead focus on using ninjutsu abilities to abuse Ukima's leave the battlefield effect. Hi everybody, I'm Z. You know me as Z main character. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok making funny videos about this game that we love and sometimes really hate. Today, I'm giving Maldhound exactly what he wants, an is it player. I'm playing Zindersplit and Okun coin flip, and the more I flip, the more I can turn the odds in my favor or just make a really big commander that I can throw at people. Hi everyone, I'm MTG Nerd Girl, and today I am playing Rob the Princess's patron submitted deck list. I'm gonna be playing Trin and Silvar. My deck is going to make a bunch of one ones using Trin and some other cool token generating creatures. And then I'm gonna sort of abuse those by either pumping them up or eating them with Silvar and getting some death triggers. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I'm Veggie Wagon and today I'm playing Rhoda and Timon. Now I love playing weird strategies, but up to this point, Tapping your opponent's creatures in Commander was just really annoying. But after some big upgrades from Wild Devel Drain, plus a couple cards here and there from Ixalan and even Karlov Manor, this is a real archetype, he said. Decked Out is proudly sponsored by Ultimate Guard. In fact, every single playmat, sleeve, or deck box you see featured on the show is an Ultimate Guard product. Now, we could just use a lot of subliminal messaging to try and get you to click the link in the description that you should click, click the link in the description. But it's really as simple as that. You don't have to do anything special other than click the link in the description because just doing that helps us out. We know and Ultimate Guard knows that as soon as you're there, you won't be able to resist clicking the link and any of their amazing products to protect your cards and make them look great, click the link. <laughs> Sorry, I was not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've clicked the link, let's go ahead and get into the game. Click the link. <laughs> Welcome to the table. Let's see who goes first. Two. Oh, oh I'm four for four let's for going go. second. <laughs> 14. Just remember, that is his fault. It is your fault. It's, it's all wow. Your fault. I, on at, listen. <laughs> On average, we're both going second. You're already and betraying that's, me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the type wow. of compromise relationships are built on. That didn't last long. <laughs> okay, well, in solidarity, since you're missing your first turn, I will skip the turn one play that I definitely have and just play a Zagoth Trium, which enters tapped. All right, Mountain Pass. I'll play an irrigated farmland pass. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. The turn one gas. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy right now. I will go ahead and play an island, and I do have a turn one play. I will go ahead and cast Ponder. I'll look at the top three cards of my library, put them back in any order, and I may shuffle my library, and I get to draw a card. And with that, I will go ahead and pass the turn. I will untap, I will draw, phenomenal. I will play the Lanawar Wastes for turn, and then I'm going to cast uh, the Gucci Flip Flops, better known as Lightning Greaves, which provide Shroud and Haste, and then I will pass the turn with nothing to equip them to. All right, I'm gonna go Plains. And I'm gonna do the most reasonable uh, Dockside Extortionist you've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> oh. wow. I'm just gonna get <laughs> one treasure, just one. <laughs> One baby treasure. Oh, it's fair, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's fair this right is, now. This is two mana for one mana. This mm -hmm. is, yeah. Yeah. This is this is totally fine and reasonable. And then I will pass the turn. You can be honest. Was it just to get the hammy token out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always. I'm going to play an island, and I'm going to cast Ghostly Pilferer. 
Uh, it's a 2-1. Whenever it becomes untapped, I can pay two to draw a card. And whenever any of you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, I draw a card. <gasps> and on top of that, I can discard a card to make it unblockable for the turn. That includes our command zone? Yeah, oh. it does. Yeah, it does. It seems pretty good in a game where everybody's got two commanders. <laughs> Who built these decks? I'll pass turn. Uh, let's roll back to 30 seconds before game start, at which point Veggie said, oh man, I gotta remember, this deck doesn't draw cards. <laughs> Can I, confirm. Everybody's between everyone already. <laughs> All right, we will draw. Oh, hey, look, what a surprise. Wow. Wow. Um, I will go ahead and play. Let's do a command tower. Tapping two and playing Tavern Scoundrel. Whenever I win a coin flip, create two treasure tokens, or I can pay one to sacrifice another permit to flip a coin and hopefully win that coin flip. How big is it? One three. I love big booties. Who doesn't love a caked up scoundrel? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass. I will play uh, the fairest card in magic, the island and I will tap three to play Ukima, Stalking Shadow. This is partnered with Kazer, guy who doesn't matter. Uh, it cannot be blocked, and whenever Ukima leaves the battlefield, it deals X damage to target player, and I gain X life, where X is its power. Now that's only two. I am going to put my Gucci flip-flops, AKA Lightning Greaves, onto Ukima, so it has haste and shroud. I'm gonna draw a card. Yeah, you would. <laughs> um, can you, did you miss the line of text where it says you take two commander damage for drawing a card? Because I'm gonna move to combat and declare Ukima attacking you. Yeah, I'm gonna take two. All right. <laughs> From there, I will pass the turn. I'm gonna start my turn with a planes and veggie. I'm gonna come in with a dock side for one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just drawing cards. <laughs> That's petulant. <laughs> and then I'm gonna follow that up by sacking my treasure and paying three for my first commander. Trin, Champion of Freedom. A human soldier 3-3 that has partner. And at the beginning of my end step, if I attacked this turn, I get to create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. I'm gonna move to my end step and I did indeed attack this turn. So I will get this little swole fella and I will pass the turn. I think I'm just gonna play a planes and pay three, four. Hilda's Crown of Winter. I can pay one and tap it to tap target creature, but it does cost one less to activate if it's my turn. Not terribly useful right now. And then I can pay three and sacrifice it to draw a card for each tap creature my opponent's control. I think you all should be playing more Hilda's Crown of Winter, even if you're not focused on tapping opponent's creatures, because it clears blockers for free, it helps to protect you, and eventually there's just gonna be a bunch of creatures on the board and you can draw for all of the ones that are tapped. So don't worry, this deck doesn't draw cards. <laughs> uh, well, I can't block that, so I'm gonna I'm swinging two. Hey, real, <laughs> I'll take two. There you go, Mom. Uh, pass the turn. Excellent. To play a little on the safe side, just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and not shock and steam vents. And I will pay two for Crack's Thumb. If you would flip a coin, instead flip two coins and ignore one. And uh, I have nothing to flip coins with so far, so I will go ahead and swing at you for one. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm scared of that thing. Proud of yourself? I am proud of myself. Good. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm also proud of you <laughs> for, what it, for what it's worth. And I will pass the turn. Okay. I'm going to play a swamp for turn. And then we're going to tap four. And we're going to play Toski, Bearer of Secrets. Aww. This is an indestructible 1-1. One, one. He attacks each combat if he's able to. And whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I draw a card. We are going to activate the Gucci flip-flops and attach the lightning greaves to Toski so that he has haste. That I'm going to move to combat. Uh, darling, you're going to take two to the face. Yeah. <laughs> for daring to throw the caked up scoundrel. Uh, and I'm going to declare Toski attacking Veggie. 
Yeah. So it's one damage. Yes, Can't block that. Yes. And so since two creatures dealt combat damage, I'll draw two cards and then I'll pass my turn. I'm going to play land for turn. It's going to be a temple of the false god. Right on time. Right, right on time. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I want to draw some cards as well. So I'm going to play a smuggler's share. At the beginning of each end step, draw a card for each opponent who drew two or more cards this turn, then create a treasure token for each opponent who had more than uh, one land come into play that turn. And then I'm also going to just go to combat and Maldhound, you're drawing the most cards. So- <laughs> You know, at this point I'm used to it. Hey, <laughs> hey, I, co I come here, I expect a Bowie knife in the chest from Nurgrim. <laughs> <laughs> I have befriended you many times. You, my dear, are and taking yet, a sure it's worked out and great. Yet it ends with a Bowie knife in the chest <laughs> all the same. So that's three commander damage and then five, two, two other more. damage. Okay. I was going to attack Veggie, but you drew two cards. So You know, actually, that's reasonable. Okay, note to self, do not draw cards. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. That'll work out. <laughs> then I'll move to my end step and get another human soldier. And then I'll pass the turn. Play a prairie stream untapped. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to do the thing the deck does. I'll pay four. For Rhoda, Geist Avenger. 3-3 um, three, three is Vigilance. And whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, I put a plus one, plus one counter on Rhoda. So tap for any reason that's not attacking, counter on Rhoda. My scoundrel doesn't like that. Just don't flip. A, just don't draw cards. Don't flip coins. Don't draw yeah. cards. Don't don't flip coins. Don't I will fun. be totally. Don't have fun. Yeah. 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 Exactly. No. This is the way. Right. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll get. I'll take a free counter. Uh, I'm gonna activate Hilda's Crown, uh, which costs one less on my turn, and I will tap the only untapped creature on the board that's not mine. Tap your soldier, and I'll put a counter on Rhoda. I'll go to combat and. Nurgle, you'll still at 40. So here's two for you. Taking it. Pass turn. All right. I will play a mountain. And we're going to go ahead and start taking some risks here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap for one, uh, two, three. I'm going to cast Fiery Gambit. Flip a coin until you lose a flip or choose to stop flipping. If you lose a flip, Fiery Gambit has no effects. If you win one or more flips, Fiery Gambit deals three damage to target creature. If you win two or more flips, Fiery Gambit deals six damage to each opponent. If you win three or more flips, draw nine cards and untap all lands that you control. Huh. Great, so yep. We're, yep. <laughs> so we're gonna start flipping. Oh, I'm so bad at this. I was skilled. That's legal. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> okay, I get to ignore that if I wish. That's lose. Oh. oh my god. Which one would you like to ignore? It's gonna be okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can get through this. <laughs> Looks this like that's so a unlucky. thumbs down. <laughs> this, is, this is so unlucky. It happens to everyone. <laughs> so unlucky. <laughs> that's the is it inauguration? <laughs> is you, do you do your first your first funny sure. non-deterministic thing is ordained by God to fail. <laughs> I can't draw cards. I can't do flips. You told me not to flip. <laughs> I should have listened. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Three mana. Do a really cool thing off the boom mic. <laughs> that was such a trick shot. I'm going to untap. I'm going to play a swamp for turn. I'm going to move to combat. Um, and, it, you know, if we want beef, you got it. I'm going to swing two at nerd girl. Uh, yep, zero blockers here. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to have a fun lesson on how ninjutsu is a definitely fair mechanic. Uh, so I'm going to let these two deal their damage. Two Toski triggers will go on the stack. In the damage step, uh, I'm going to tap colorless, black, and blue. And now I'm going to ninjutsu Ukima out of my hand. And in his place, I'm gonna put in 
the Moon Snare Specialist. When it ETBs, I return up to one target creature to its owner's hand. I think you have quite enough tokens, so I'm going to bounce Trin to your hand. Okay. And you'll still take the two damage, the two combat damage from Ukima, the one from Toski. Ukima's trigger will go on the stack, which is for X equals two, I gain two life, target player takes two damage, and we'll keep everything even. So Z, you're gonna take two. <sighs> it's not gonna matter. <laughs> um, so I'll gain two, you lose three overall, um, two of which is commander, and then I will draw two cards. Great, this worked out for everybody. Yes. <laughs> uh, I will move to... No. I will tap one more and a blue and play the Invisible Stalker, which is hexproof and cannot be blocked, but it's just a 1-1. One, one. And uh, just like Krog's thumb, there's no way for that to be problematic. Mm -hmm. And I will discard a Cunning Evasion to clean up step and pass the turn. On your end step, I will draw an extra card because you drew more than one. Yeah, see? Yeah, we're right. good time Everyone's, We're good time boys. Everyone's touching cards. <laughs> <laughs> I would you, like to touch you, cards. You saw the mountaintop. <laughs> <laughs> saw the mountaintop of draw nine on turn four. You told four. me is it can draw cards. It can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play a hand weird garrison. A 2-3, this is whenever it attacks, I get to put two 1-1 one, one red human creatures tapped and attacking onto the battlefield. Maltown, these two soldiers are for you, my friend. That is fair. I will take the two damage. And that is, that's gonna be the end of my turn. Hexproof and shroud. Hey, oh! <laughs> yeah. Don't touch my stuff. What are you talking about here? What are you even talking about? Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my things. They're one ones. What do you mean? All right, then I won't. I won't touch your stuff. I'll just touch you. I'm gonna pay three, and I'm gonna play this flaming fist. Commander creatures you own have. Whenever this creature attacks, it gains double strike until end of turn. Got it. Ooh. Okay. So you, you name yourself an, a foe. This Rhoda is a 4-4 four, four with double strike. Mm -hmm. Would your face like that? Does it have trample? It doesn't. The invisible stalker is going to catch a bullet. Mm -hmm. And I will declare it as a blocker <laughs> for Rhoda. <laughs> Get that hex proof out of here. <laughs> uh, and I think I'll just pass the turn after that. Mm -hmm. I will... Hey, one blue. I'm gonna cast Brainstorm. Draw three cards and put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. I finally get to touch cards. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I will go ahead and play a land for turn, which is going to be, um, it'll be an island. And then uh, <laughs> we're gonna take a chance again <laughs> for uh, one, two and three. I'm gonna go ahead and play Mog Assassin. Um, so Mog Assassin, I get to tap him and flip a coin. If I win the flip, destroy target creature and opponent controls, otherwise destroy target creature of that opponent's choice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this what? is a great yeah. commander card. Um, hmm. Oh no. And um, we're gonna do a crazy move. I'm gonna go ahead and pay one. Tap Tavern Scoundrel. You get a trigger. Thanks. Um, and I'm going to sacrifice an island to Tavern Scoundrel. And we're gonna go for flipping. We're gonna keep it the same. Red deck wins, uh, blue I lose. Ready? Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's good. I don't, you know what? I don't need a, I don't. I don't need I don't need to flip again. Wait, if I flip again and win, do I no, get no, oh, no, cuz you okay. cuz you pretend one just doesn't exist. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to continue going for greed and I will go ahead and immediately sack these treasures. Um and I'm going to go ahead and play Goblin Bomb. During your upkeep, you may choose to flip a coin. Target opponent calls heads or tails while the coin is in the air. If the flip ends up in your favor, put a fuse counter on Goblin Bomb. Otherwise, remove a fuse counter from Goblin Bomb. 
Remove five fuse counters from Goblin Bomb. Sacrifice Goblin Bomb. Goblin Bomb deals 20 damage to target player. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All righty then. We're getting there. And with that, you're saying you're so proud of me. I am. This is beautiful. I'm going to draw an <laughs> extra card off the smuggler's share. And play a swamp for turn. Uh, okay. Would you like to form an alliance? Great, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> <laughs> I need the Toski card. It's one damage. Uh -huh. It's one damage, not commander. Mm -hmm. I just need the card. I knew I should have asked for more context. Here. <laughs> I just need the card. <laughs> no other harm will come to you. I'm going to uh, move to combat and declare Toski attacking you, Z. Mm -hmm. Now I have to make a decision. So whether I want this alliance to happen or not. Yeah, and I will say your only choice, even if you don't want the alliance to happen, is to lose Mog Assassin to Toski, mm -hmm. which is like not the best. Yeah, you know, I was hoping you wouldn't realize this so I can seem generous to you, uh -huh. but yeah. Mm -hmm. So I will say I agree and therefore don't hurt me. Great. <laughs> This deal with my partner is just fine because I have so many ways to build an entire tower of C4 to detonate the entire table without having to look his direction. The C standing for coin flip. Thank you. I will take one. All right, you will take one. I will draw my card. You're welcome, nerd girl. I will tap two swamps and this island to replay Ukima Stalking Shadow. I will then, I think I got a strike while the iron's hot and the mana is tapped. Um, and I'm going to tap a swamp in the Zagoth Triumph for green. And I'm going to Assassin's Trophy, uh, your commander. Excuse you. <laughs> well, you're right. You should strike when the when the mana is tapped. Fortunately, uh, it is not. not enough I'm gonna tap this for one. I'm gonna play, you see a guard approach. Uh, Commander All-Star, I can either tap target creature or target creature I control gains hexproof until end of turn. <sighs> Very Ooh. good. All right, then Assassin's Trophy will fizzle. Um, as my final act of defiance, I will put the Lightning Greaves onto Ukima just to avoid any shenanigans from Veggie. And I will pass the turn to Nerd Girl. Who will draw a card on your end step. I'm going to start by playing a command tower. I drew a land. And it's like I get three lands now because yay. All right. Maltown, I'm coming in for two. And when it attacks, I do get to add some more attacking humans. These ones are, they say two twos, but they look red. So we're going to, we're going to put those in. And uh, they will be attacking veggie. It's the only way one of them will live. Okay, I'll I'll block one of them with uh, with Rhoda. Okay. This I will take. You. I will declare no blocks. Excellent. Uh, so damage will resolve. This will die. Second main. Let's go ahead and tap four to replay my commander from my hand, and we will tap two more. For Jury Master of the Review, he's a 1-1 one, one that says, whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a plus one, plus one counter on him, and whenever he dies, I get to deal damage equal to its power to any target. And then I'll move to my end step and go ahead and get to put a third uh, human soldier onto the battlefield with my commander, and that will do it for me. I need to tap all of these creatures. I'm just going to pay two for a selfless spirit, a 2-1 flyer. I can sacrifice it to make my creatures indestructible until end of turn. Uh, and we'll go to combat. Um, Nose goes. Well, it's only fair. <laughs> uh, Nurgle, we'll, we'll get rid of one of your 1-1s. One I'll send uh, this 5-5 five, five double striker your way. I will lose a human soldier. <laughs> that's it i'll pass a turn excellent <laughs> i will go to my upkeep and i will actually go ahead and do goblin bomb 
Um, target opponent calls heads or tails. We're working together, right? Yeah. Okay, excellent. I am all for this partnership. If we win, I can try to do something sneaky with a ninja in the end game. And if we're not winning, uh, Z's almost definitely going to be the bigger problem than I am. And so I won't be the one targeted. You pick one. <laughs> Ready? Heads. You're welcome. There you go. You win. Okay, excellent. I win. So I get to put a counter on it. I get to make two treasure tokens. Counter. Money. Money. And then untap. I will go ahead and play access tunnel for my land. And um, as we already established, we're, we're working together right now. Yeah. Until the end of your next turn, at least. Um, there are some issues on the board. Yeah, a couple. Um, that I can't necessarily do anything about except for with Mog Assassin. Mm -hmm. So here's an idea. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Okay. I'm gonna target your Toasty. Okay. And I need you to choose mm -hmm. to have that go somewhere else if I fail. Because I can't necessarily okay. afford to lose anything. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. But we agree, I'm not the problem. I agree, yeah. This is the problem. Yeah. That, yeah, this is the problem. Honestly, that one of those 1-1 one, one human <laughs> soldiers is, I'm starting to sweat. Yeah, exactly. Agreed? Agreed. Anything that prevents Veggie from having an active decision in the outcome of the game. Yes. Don't count. Don't look through your hand like that. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Okay, excellent. I will go ahead and uh, tap Mog Assassin, triggering... What is what is your thing to do again? Oh, oh no. no! I found your target. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stick on theme. Red deck wins, blue I lose. Ready? And I can do it twice. Those counters are canonically gone forever now. Yes. <laughs> like, I gone. mean, they're they're you know, also that's actually exactly gone what we were because trying to do. Yeah. You wanted to yeah. lose, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. If, and so now that you have lost, mm -hmm. I will ricochet off of Toski into Rhoda. This is it. This is it. This is it. <gasps> Boo. <Yeah. laughs> I'm just gonna scoop. <laughs> sack another land. I'm gonna sack a treasure, actually. Damn. Is what I'm gonna do. Oh no, wait, oh. I haven't done any, I haven't cast anything yet. Okay, so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap for five, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my commander out. Zunder Split, Eye of Wisdom. At the beginning of combat on my turn, flip a coin until I lose a flip. Whenever a player wins a coin flip, I get to draw a card. So I'm gonna go to combat and at the beginning of combat, I flip a coin until I lose a flip. And we're gonna go for it. Wait, flip a coin until I lose? Mm -hmm. Oh. So that's a win. Oh no, blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's lose. a lose, so but Kark, yeah. I get to do Kark's them. <laughs> 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 I shouldn't play this deck. I'm cursed. You gotta chug it now. <laughs> don't you don't have to <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and just go with a good old six sided dice here, and we're gonna do even and odd. Even and odds. Uh, evens I win. Odds I lose. Okay, let's go. Even. Okay. Win? Okay. That's, so, so that's we, one win. That's one win. Okay, so, oh wait, you yeah, know what? Yeah, let's hang on, let's hang on, on yeah, to let that. It, let it, let's, know, let's, let's, okay, that's one win. Mm -hmm. That's one lose. And then Clark's and, thumb. And then Clark's thumb. That's another one. Two wins. Okay. Oh boy. So now Not we're at coin yet. flip number three. I won. Straight win, okay. <laughs> this is not good. Coin See, flip number four. You just go forever. Let's try it's again. It's mathematically possible. One again. Mm -hmm. So four wins. Four wins. All right, flip number five. Please. And I would like, I would like to remind you of our, of our unshakable teamwork. Uh-huh. You guys want to go back to the coin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, okay. God. All right, it ends. All right, so I get 12 treasures. <laughs> and six card draws. And six card draws. Now I get to touch the cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so back. <laughs> um, whew, that is so many treasures. And in what order do I want to do this? All right, so for two treasures, I'm gonna go down 12. Where's 12? 
I'm gonna go ahead and cast Lightning Greaves. And I'm gonna go ahead and immediately equip it to my commander. Uh, on that high, I'm gonna choose Is It Greed? And for three, and I'm gonna go ahead and cast Stitch in Time. All right, luck, luck, gods. We, <laughs> we need you right now. We cannot have another turn of this, please. You did this to me. <laughs> and we're gonna do it again. Uh, evens, I win. Um, let's go. Nope. Don't you dare do this to me. Oh! oh. Okay, so I get the... two more treasures, so yeah. I'm going to uh, 11. Um, for three, going down to, wait, one, two, eight? Yeah, no, I only need to go down to two. So back to nine. I'm gonna cast Kedis. Whenever a commander you control deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to each other opponent. And for three, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Propaganda. Creatures can't attack me unless their controllers pay two for each creature they control that's attacking me. Um, with that, I cast enough stuff for this turn. So I will go ahead and end this turn and I get another one. I will go ahead and on this upkeep, uh, go for Goblin Bomb. Um, are we still? We're still besties. We're still I'm besties. very, I'm very pleased with what this, <laughs> this is art. Okay. Ready to call it? Yeah. Okay. Get yeah. There. Okay, ready? Mm. Evens. Ooh, there we go. okay. Excellent. Um, so I won. Right? That's me winning? Yes, that's, you, that's win. you winning. Okay, so, and then I get two treasures and I <laughs> get a Zender split. So first off, <laughs> this is happening. We're getting two treasures, we're going to eight, and then I'm drawing a card. I'm also gonna draw a card at the end of your last <gasps> end step because of the smuggler's share. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And then I will now untap. I will play a mountain. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap five, one, two, three, four and five, and actually we're not going to tap access tunnel. We're gonna tap command tower. Um, and, and I'm gonna cast Okan, Eye of Chaos. At the beginning of combat on my turn, flip a coin until I lose a flip. Whenever a player wins a coin flip, double Okun's power and toughness until end of turn. I'm gonna draw off my ghostly pilferer and hope that this is exactly the answer that we need right now. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> I never thought I would be happy to see Veggie sad. Hey, <laughs> it's a beautiful sight. Okay, I will go ahead and cast for two, going down to six. I will play Goblin Festival. It's an enchantment. I pay two and it deals one damage to target creature or player. Flip a coin. If I lose the flip, choose one of my opponents. That player gains control of Goblin Festival. So more collusion, more collusion oh, cards. More wow. collusion cards because we are, you know, yeah, we're yeah, colluding. Well, yeah, yeah, we're, we're colluding, colluding we're and colluding. I'm definitely gonna live through the collusion. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Before combat, I'm gonna go ahead and give Okun some boots. Great. In response, I'm gonna try to not get smacked by the biggest Cyclops we've ever seen. I'm gonna pay one, activate Hilda's crown, and tap Okun. No. Okay. So now Okun can't attack. <sighs> oh no. My plans. I need now, I need the is it circle to be complete and to have all of this, all of these actions end up in not anything <laughs> happening. I mean, now, a lot did happen. Now a all you happen. can do is make 20 more treasures and draw 10 <laughs> oh, more no. cards. Any, any chance you can pump some of my stuff for our collusion? Are we colluding? I don't like it, but I probably have to at this point. Let's start flipping more coins. This time not into coffee. Odds I lose. Mm. Come on, Thon. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh no! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. All right, don't fail me. I have both of you out. This can't be the way. Oh, oh. Come on. Don't Just you dare. One more don't you dare. No! <laughs> no! You got it. Mm. This is not. Four flips, four flips, and I still failed? How can I be doing so much and get so little at the same time? 
You're, we deserve this, okay? You're, you are an official we member deserve of this. the Is It Guild now. <laughs> Why do you play these decks? <laughs> They're good. Why do you play these? But, oh, but imagine if any of those had been even. Imagine if God didn't hate you <laughs> <laughs> during those coin it's flips. to be his favorite little guy. Well, I will go ahead and pay into Goblin Festival. I will pay two into Goblin Festival going down to four treasures. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and target self spirit. <sighs> Please don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, for three, going down to three treasures. I'm gonna go ahead and transmute Metal the Mixture, which is counter target instant sorcery spell. I'm not doing that. I get to discard this card, search my library for a card with the same converted mana cost as this card, reveal it and put it into my hand, then shuffle your library. And I went ahead and got Fling, which is sacrifice a creature. Fling deals damage equal to the sacrifice creature's power to target creature or player. And this is the longest turn of my life. Welcome to Is It. Yeah, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the Is It Zone. <sighs> um, and with that, I now pass the turn. I'm gonna get to draw another card. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Smuggler share can be kind of hit or miss, but in this particular matchup, it seems like it's doing some really good work. On Z and Maldhound's turn, I'm getting to draw an extra card every single time. Hopefully someone will play a fetch along the way. Okay, so, you know, the thing I'm gonna do, I thought was gonna be really scary after that turn, not so much, but I would like to remind us for the purposes of threat assessment, uh, Dockside Extortion is present in 39% of all CEDH decks. The card I'm about to play present in 0% of CEDH decks. So I want us to keep that in mind. I played the most fair Dockside in the history of ever. Right, but let's not argue with the statistics. As I tap uh, six mana for Raised by Giants. Commander creatures I own have base power and toughness 10-10 and are giants in addition to their other types. So mm. Ukima is now a 10-10, assuming that this resolves. Um, I'm going to move to combat. Yep. I am oh going gosh. to uh, oh assume that our deal stands. Yeah. Yep. And I'm going stands. to swing Toski again okay. to get my one card. Okay. Okay, I will go ahead and take one. I will draw my card. And I will pass from there. We'll get to draw an extra card from the smuggler's share. Any chance you can... Pump my stuff, veggie. <laughs> <laughs> There's there are pump spells in white. Yeah, you could turn one of those one ones into a four four serpent right, with the amazing. blue with the blue mana. <laughs> I'm going to put in a cliff top retreat. I'm gonna start with two for a uh, Black Blade Reforged. I can equip a legendary creature for three or uh, any creature for seven, and the creature gets plus one, plus one for each land I control. And what the heck, we might as well go ahead and equip it to my commander. I don't like that. <laughs> Everybody good on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. sure, 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 sure. All right, uh, so my commander is now a 10-10. Mm. Nine nine, how big is how big is your commander? Ten ten. Great. Uh, I'm gonna move to combat. One of these boards is not like the others. <laughs> <laughs> Veggie. Veggie is getting uh, these creatures. <laughs> <laughs> the Bowie knife. And uh, Maldhown, you're getting my commander. No blocks. I mean, this is the most obvious combat trick that there's ever been. Um, get two more humans from the trigger here, and uh, those will also go to you, Veggie. Sorry. Okay, I will declare Ukima blocking your commander. Let's see. That's what... your commander? Yeah. Okay. Let's see Hold. what goofiness you got. And you say no blocks? No blocks. All right. So Maldown, the good news is, is you don't die, but you might have. Embercleave. Oh! <laughs> For two mana, 
We're gonna give uh, for flash, uh, it costs only two because I was attacking with enough creatures. I'm gonna get plus one, plus one, double strike and trample. You know, you think Raised by Giants is gonna be your backbreaking play of the game, and then one Ember Cleave later, and all you're left with is a 2 2, a 1 1, and an unending pit of despair in your stomach. So then it's now a 10 10 double striking commander. Cool. So almost 20 damage, which would have killed you if you. Yep. If you only block with this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and if we kill Mauled, then both of them lose, right? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're yeah. 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 Well, giant. Yeah. I am I saw, I saw the I saw the I saw the line. Yeah. I feel like if Z's Toski puppet dies, then, <laughs> <laughs> then then maybe. Uh, yes. No, I I, I mean this very. Right? I'm. This is not yeah, a judgment. This is like this is, like, this is our. You're you're alive. This, right? It's fine. You only take ten commander damage and lose your commander. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So with Ukima dying, I do get to deal 10 damage to a player and gain 10 life. Six. I'm going to deal uh, 10 damage to you. And hopefully that will soften you up enough for somebody to finish the job. Mm -hmm. um, I will go to my end step and I will get an additional soldier. And that is the best I can do. Can you help us, Veggie? Theoretically, in some game, I could. <laughs> I don't know that it is that game, this game. I'll play a Tyrite Sanctum, which can make a legendary creature into a god and then turn that god indestructible. Uh, I don't think any of that is relevant here. I will take the actions that I can take. Uh, I will discard a card to Ghostly Pilferer. I don't need this Time of Ice. It's now unblockable. I will go to combat. And I will hit Maul for two. <laughs> <laughs> Loud and clear. I'll take two. And I will pass the turn. Excellent. All right. Let's see if I can put you all out of your misery and therefore my misery for all of these horribly embarrassing flips. Goblin Bomb. Would you like to call it? Sure would. Excellent. Evens. Ooh, okay. Okay. Excellent. Evens. Ooh, okay. So I won. I will go ahead and play an island. Would you like to roll it back and see if we can get rid of something else together? Sure. Okay, excellent. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, activate Mog Assassin. Once okay. again, targeting Toski. All right, and I will in turn target Trin, excellent. the 2020 Trampler. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So go ahead and tap it. You get a trigger? Uh, oh no, what is <laughs> I can do whatever I want with no consequences. <laughs> Ready? Two okay, checking. evens I win. You can just keep that one. I can keep that one. I can keep that, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Okay, and I'm going to ping and shoot Trin in the face. Oh. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'm gonna go to combat and start flipping even more. So we're gonna do uh, evens. I win. No. <laughs> okay, please. No, don't do this to me again. One time for the one time. You gotta oh, be okay. kidding God, me. All right, you that's gotta one. be so kidding have me. Your second have... instance. No! <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Listen to me. Do we all believe in miracles? I, I need you just once, just one more time. We can do this together, okay? You gotta be. <laughs> I d listen. Another four times. Another? How am I this unlucky? <laughs> that is right. eight, eight losses now right. <laughs> across the two combats. Right. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's can't, it can't happen to me again. It can't hurt me. Excellent, I'm gonna pay one to go ahead and pay into Tavern Scoundrel. And I will go ahead and sacrifice a treasure token to it. Um, where's four? Going down to four. And we're gonna try it again. Oh! So that's a win. Okay. So that's a win. All right, I will go ahead and pay two uh, into Goblin Festival. And I'm gonna target my own commander, Zinder Split. Um, it has not been good to me, but I feel like if I change it now, 
It's oh, gonna be yeah. even worse. <laughs> We're sticking with evens. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. I. Hmm. We're gonna get even crazier. I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice all of my treasures to activate Goblin Festival three times. Okay? Mm-hmm. Any responses? No. <laughs> I am tapped out. Oh, no, wait. I'm going to target Toski. Cause, yeah, because we're on a team. We're on a team. And you don't hurt your teammates. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, still, evens, I win. Oh, okay. it's another trigger. Okay. The treasures are back. We're going to roll again. Ooh, okay. okay, failed one. One another one. Okay, so we have two more triggers. Four treasures. Two cards. You're the proud new owner of a Goblin <laughs> Festival. I, yes, and I now own Goblin now Festival. Now you own Goblin Festival. Enjoy. And Okun... Has been doubled four times. Has been doubled four times. Let's make sure they... Wait, how big is he? Six, 12, 24... 48. A 48? 48? Oh. Hmm. With all of these resolved, I'm going to pay three. I'm going to cast a generous gift, and I would like to target your light and greaves. My boots? Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> you get a nice little 3-3 three, three for it. I get a nice little 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, that's a deal. Oh. Elkoon is all <laughs> exposed. And along with that 3-3, three, three, you also get a tapped Okun. Okun is tapped. Okay, with Okun tapped and not enough treasures to recast him if he dies, Fling is a little dead in my hand. <sighs> so many flips, so little done. I will go ahead and pass the turn. Okay. Real quick, at the end of your turn, I will draw a card. Beautiful. I'm going to play this forest for turn and then making sure I keep two potentially blue mana suspiciously open. <laughs> I'm going to tap five uh, to bring Ukima back out. Still a 10-10. Uh, I'm going to pay zero to equip the lightning greaves to him. And then... Mm. Now I come to an impasse because, uh -huh. because you, my darling, are mm. very much the biggest threat on the board. Oh, no. But by the no, oh, oh, oh. no, -uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be uh, DC thirty-five. Yeah, I have no. Okay, to that. <laughs> um, but by very nature of the fling, it means if I wrong you, you can put three rounds into my chest mm -hmm. but not now yeah not now not right now that is true um i'm going to move to combat i'm gonna swing toski at veggie and uh okay uh yeah so ukima and toski declared at you veggie great i will block with all of my available creatures perfect uh, you will take the young 11 damage, and I will draw two cards. I'm going to move to discard and discard Master Chef, and then I will pass the turn. Uh, on your end step, I will draw an extra card because you drew with Toski. I'm going to start by playing my second commander, Silvar, a 4-2 with Menace that allows me to sacrifice a human, put a plus one plus one counter on Sylvar, and it gains indestructible till end of turn. I'm gonna draw a card. <laughs> and then I'm gonna play a Swamp for turn. Next up, I'm going to play a Legendary Enchant Background. We're gonna play Inspiring Leader. My commander has creature tokens I control get plus two plus two. Now, nerd girl. Yep. This I know this is not normally how we work, but uh, 
if we were to team up here, I would say you don't want to have a lot of creatures tapped when I untap. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually pretty surprised Veggie gave me the heads up on the tapped creatures there because I could have just sent them all at Maltown, been pretty happy, and then had them all blown up. So it's nice to see that Veggie's also partnering up with me to help take these two down. <laughs> Don't I would say that any of your creatures, tomorrow. any of your creatures that you would like to keep on the board, <gasps> you should not tap. I see. I don't like the sound of that. Interesting. Okay. I am going to choose to ally with my, my good friend Veggie <laughs> and I will pass the turn. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna play a planes and I am going to first activate Hilda's Crown of Winter. Uh, I think we can take out one more creature. I'm gonna target Zundersplit. This cost me zero because it's my turn. I'd like to tap <sighs> Zundersplit. No, 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 no. I will pay six for Sunblast Angel, a four five flyer. When it enters the battlefield, destroy all tapped creatures. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't you can't out luck boy the luck boy. No, no, no. Off the top. Oh how am I this unlucky? <laughs> I have the answers for now, but what I don't have is the actual combat damage on board to eliminate players. I need Nerd Girl to have everything that she's got, and hopefully I can turn it around by the time it's just the two of us. This is the life of visit. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you live this way? It, when it works, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> also, when it do doesn't work, it's, it's so still funny. It's still funny. <laughs> I will lose all my key states. <laughs> uh, very specifically destroy, right? Destroy. So destroy. destroy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everything is right. Mm -hmm. We totally no other problems left. I'll pass the turn. See, I got, I got this. I never, never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. Appreciate you, Veggie. That was, you saved us twice. All right. I will go to my upkeep. I will definitely trigger Goblin Bomb. Would you like to call for me? Sure. Okay. Evens. Aha! So this goes to four. Um, and I get no other choice. And for once, nothing else happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will go ahead and play a command beacon. Okay, so for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I will pay, actually just pay the commander tax for this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my commander out. I'm gonna draw a card. Mm hmm And for one more, I'll go ahead and cast Campfire. I can pay one into it to gain two life, or I can pay two into it to exile it, put all commanders you own from the command zone and from your graveyard into your hand, then you shuffle your graveyard into your library. I will go ahead and go to combat and roll some more dice. Okay. Okay. Come on, Karksum. Come on. I, how is that possible? I'll take it this time because there's no other benefit than That's making true. him bigger. Yep. <laughs> Just, there's not much else I can do. I'll pass. Okay. I'm going to play yet another swamp for turn. Um. All right. I'm going to activate Goblin Festival targeting that angel that just put the whole board in the shadow realm. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do evens, I win. Okay, well you still take the one. Uh, I'm going to choose Z as the opponent to gain Yay. control of this. Mm -hmm. You're safe, my So that'll safe take boy. one. I'm going to tap a swamp and cast You Are Already Dead on the angel. So destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn and draw a card. It's so ninja -y. I will then move to combat and I will swing both Toski and the Moon Snare Specialist because uh, I think no matter what I do, I die next turn. So I might as well go out with a bang at Veggie. Uh, I think this Pilfer has done about as much work as it could do. I will put this in front of your Moon Snare Specialist. Got it. All right. I will then um, 
tap six mana for no reason at all. Uh, and then remind you that I actually attacked with Silent Blade Oni mm. and not Toski, who has actually been in my hand this whole time. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see that. Yeah, it's trick of the light. Um, when Silent Blade Oni deals combat damage to a player, look at that player's hand and I may cast a spell from among them without paying its mana cost. Which again, I really would have blocked that with the Pilferer. Yeah, but it seems like a bad choice on my part. So we'll move to the damage step. I'll pop you for six, mm -hmm. and then um, I would love to see what cards you have. Here's what I got. Uh-oh. I don't think it can be too bad, but a free spell is still a free spell. I am going to choose to cast the Bastion Protector for free, which is commander creatures you control, have plus two, plus two, and have indestructible, and then I will pass to Nurgle so that I die. Okay, cool. And I will draw one on your end step. I want to. Token strategies and propaganda just don't work. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I need no. to kill an enchantment. <laughs> I don't want to kill you, Maldhound. <laughs> but I need to kill someone. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to start with a planes for turn. Can, maybe I could just kill you all. I was going to say. It's, I'm I mean, it's, at the board. it's kind of close. Mm hmm. With Goblin Bomb about to crack, and I've taken 20 points of damage from Maltown's commander dying, I need to kill some people. And I think it's time for me to just see what happens. I don't know. We're going to go out in a blaze of glory. Let's go. We're going to spend a bunch of mana, and we're just going to suit up my cat Nightmare. Whew. He's going to be thick. All right. So the plan is I'm just going to swing as best I can and see what happens. So Veggie's going to get four tokens and a dock side, which should be perfect. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, that's 13. Um, Z, you're going to get the commander. I paid the the, the amount. And Maldhound's going to get everything else. And when uh, this guy attacks, I get to make two more tokens that will come in and attack Maldhound as well. In response, I'm going to sacrifice two treasures and I'm going to cast Reality Shift. Exile target creature, its controller manifests the top card of their library. Ooh. It's exile, mm -hmm. yeah. which is unfortunate. Quick, sacrifice the ones that are attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> Quick! In response, I will sack the uh, jury. Uh huh. Uh, to put a plus one, plus one counter and indestructible, irrelevant, but I will use the jury to eat your lizard. Ooh. Not sweet my lizard. For right. sweet, sweet justice. Twist the knife oh. on the way out. That's what we love to see. Uh -huh. No, goodbye, my sweet little guy. <laughs> uh, and then, then I will have to let this go because I can't stop indestructible. I will get to manifest this card and uh, let everybody go to damage. I'm excited I did <sighs> things though. I will take a uh, six, which is much nicer. Oops. Yeah, because four one ones and then two three. Oh, any any blocks? No. No, I had declared none. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I'll take five. <laughs> New lease on life for veggie. <laughs> Great. Me? Uh yep, you. I'm gonna play this island. I'm going to Pay five for my other commander, Timon Youthful Geist. Uh, a three, four flyer at the beginning of each combat. Tap up to one target creature. Now, I don't want to have to tap any of your creatures. I like what's going on. Just not this way. So just when we get to combat, if, if thing, things should just not come this way, otherwise I have to tap them down. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of each combat, I'm going to tap a thing. Um, I will I will tap Bastion Protector. Wow. <laughs> That's mine. Pass. Wow. All right. Do I get the bomb? We're about to find out. Okay, so this is target opponent. Manifesting the bomb. Do not fail me this time, I swear. <laughs> just, just for me. Sure would. Okay, excellent. Ready? Yeah. Odds. 
There you go. Oh, <laughs> I get the bomb. We went ahead and go ahead and got the bomb. We're going up to five and I will go ahead and untap all these yummy, yummy, yummy lands. Okun, not gonna come at you. Great. But what is gonna happen is some real shenanigans. So I will go ahead. We're gonna go into- So, so he fl starts flipping when you go into combat, right? Yeah. Correct. So in response, Veggie might agree to your terms, but I don't, and I'm gonna die anyway. So I'm just going to uh, attempt to swords to plowshares. We're gonna <gasps> exile Okun in response. Ooh. I... So I'm gonna die to goblin bomb anyway, but I'm gonna make you use it at least so that they, they have a better opportunity. I can respect that. I'm gonna go ahead and, and remove five counters and goblin bomb you. And that'll be it. Good luck, boys. Okun lives. I think it's for bad now. luck, boys. Right? That's what we need. <laughs> yeah. We need. We we just need Z to lose Every twelve flip. flips in a row. Okay. And then. Okay. We'll see what happens. So we are going into combat. Don't change it. Oh, we're gonna stick with the events. Let's go. Oh, okay. Fuck. And uh, you know, you, you said in two turns. It hasn't been two. I turns also yet. said one turn. Oh. Well, the turn's not over yet. So I'm gonna swing at you with Okun. In response, nah. -uh. <laughs> In response, yeah. -huh. It's only 12, it'll be fine. It's only 12. Oh, it'll be yeah, fine. yeah. It's only 12. Yeah, I'm actually. Sure. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pay two. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, yep. To cast Tamir Battle Rage. Mm -hmm. Tiger creature gains double strike until end of turn. Mm hmm. That's, that's Commander Lethal. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Not if I don't accept it. Yeah, huh? No. <laughs> nuh -uh. Let's see. Can I untap your things? Nope. <laughs> I've met your terms. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Scoop, scoop them up. <laughs> I will take uh, a massive Bowie knife to the chest. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Dead. Oh, that's a funny little graphic. <laughs> And then I will go ahead and cast the card we've known that has been in my hand all along and cast fling. And I will kill my commander to fling him at you. In response, oh. I will pay two and take a bunch of damage to the base. <laughs> <loose>. <laughs> Float two mana in defiance. <laughs> It never gets old. That's the Azor At some that's point, the people are going to know that I don't have anything. Oh, no, blue eyes. <laughs> that's a lose, so but Kark, yeah. I get to do Kark's thumb. <laughs> I shouldn't play this deck. I'm cursed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're so you cursed. Gotta, you gotta chug it now. <laughs> we gotta chug it. Now. <laughs> don't you? Don't have to do that. It was a hard fought battle, but I won this game as coin flip decks do, with a lot of ups, a lot of downs, and definitely a lot of pain. Ultimate Guard is the industry leader in TCG accessories. We love their stuff and we know you will too. In fact, every single playmat, sleeve, or deck box featured on this show is an Ultimate Guard product. And we use Ultimate Guard to protect our own personal collections on a day-to-day -day basis. So make sure to use the link in the description to support our channel and treat yourself to some amazing upgrades. I like how Maldhown can pilot is it when he's not sitting behind it. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> Otherwise it goes real bad for him. I have, listen. My famous, my famed piloting errors are Esper. I have, <laughs> I, I have let Blue down many times. The only time I let Is It down specifically was on Niv Mizzet, where I did not realize saying "my man" to Veggie Wagon was the sleeper agent <laughs> activation phrase. <laughs> Every other time, it's a love story as old as time. They meet, they fall for one another. One of them summons a giant ogre who ferociously beats the other to death. Tales of Adventure is one of our biggest sponsors, and the best way to support us is by buying magic cards. You are going to do this anyway, so why would you go anywhere else, especially when you get 5% off of your orders with our specialized code? TOA has an amazing selection of singles, and they even specialize in premium cards. So make sure you head on over to TOA with the link down below in the description and use code decked out at checkout for that 5% off and to support your favorite commander show. I'm targeting uh, Hilda Hilda, or Rhoda for short. Rhoda, great. Well, I have to do this now before the coin flip happens. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to 
flash in rattle chains, uh, which does not target that. We're just going to pretend like that. Didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. Well, things went a little sideways, just not the way that I intended them to. Moxfield is the best deck list site available. It has everything you need to customize, compare, and collaborate. View and brew the way that works for you. Moxfield is the only way that we can track and share all of our spiciest builds here on the show and whatever Veggie is playing. Make sure to follow our Moxfield profile in the link in the description. <sighs> I'm so bad at this. That was skilled. That's legal. <laughs> <That'll work. laughs> okay. I get to ignore that if I wish. That's lose. Oh. oh my God. That game was so much fun. Special thank you to Rob the Princess for submitting this amazing Mardu deck for me to play. I love Mardu sacrifice token go wide themes and this was perfect. Thank you so much. As you may have noticed, Decked Out has been weekly for the entire month of April. And we will even be continuing to be weekly for another month after that. But if you guys would like to help keep the show that way, you guys can support us by heading on over to our Patreon. We have a goal to keep the show weekly for the rest of 2024. So if you would like to unlock some exclusive perks like signed tokens, spell table games with us, even get your deck featured here on the show, you can head on over to our Patreon. And of course, you can always support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And all of the, there's a bunch of other buttons that you can hit too that help. I think there's like a bell, a notification, something like that. Do all of the buttons. Um, I think that's all we have for you for today. We'll see you next time on Decked, Decked Out. Out.